Hi there. My name is Jason Harlow uh, from Physics at University of Toronto. I have some experience teaching online courses here at U of T, so I just wanted to show you a quick video about how you can do an online lecture. The idea is that at some set time, you will have all of your students log on to Quercus and click on a link. They will be able to hear you and see what you're doing on PowerPoint or on a, a whiteboard, and they'll even be able to ask questions all in real time. And you can even record it too pretty easily in case anyone misses classes. So <clears throat> first go to the web. So q.utoronto.ca is where uh, you will find these, uh, this official course page, and any student registered in your course will have access to this. And then you need to go to the course settings, if you haven't already done this, to add the BB Collaborate tool to your course menu. Click on Navigation, and you go to BB Collaborate. Click on these three little dots right beside it, and you click Plus Enable. So it's once it's enabled, don't forget to go down and click Save. And then at this point, uh, when you go to your course's main home page, you should see BB Collaborate somewhere on the menu. So that's first step. Now, the next thing you want to do is add your actual lecture uh, time. So you uh, click on the BB Collaborate, which your students will also be able to click on. You tell them to, to do that. Now, you as an instructor are going to click on Create Session. And so you can just call it Lecture. Uh, you can either give it an exact time when your lecture is going to be. You can repeat session weekly, every week, uh, to give students the, when the lectures will be. Another way of doing this is to start it right now and click on No End Open Session. And then the lecture will just always be there and you don't have to actually set up any times. This is the quick and dirty way of doing it. In fact, this is the way I do it and I've never had a problem. So at this point, the students will all see it. Uh, you click on it. Uh, you click on Join Session. And it opens it up. Uh, it'll ask you to use your microphone. You click on Allow. Uh, you can test it. Yes, it's working. It'll ask to use your camera. You can allow or, or block it. I usually just allow the camera. It's good for the students to, to see you. <clears throat> there I am, so yes, it's working. Welcome, you're the only one in the room. Now what you might not notice right away is that down in the lower right-hand corner, there's this uh, Collaborate panel, which gives you a bunch of options. There's also an option up here on the upper left where you can start recording. I think that's a good thing to do. Uh, just in case students miss, then you can offer them a link uh, with Blackboard Collaborate to previous recordings. It doesn't hurt. Um, right now, I'm the only one in the room, but what will happen is that on this attendees, you will see when uh, class is starting to begin a list of all your students. You're the moderator, but there'll be a list of all your students beginning to, to log on. And sometimes I even take that, drop that panel in here so that I can keep a track of who is actually in the class. And then there's a chat window. So uh, you can click on everyone, and you can say, hi, class, if you want. And this is normally the chat window is where students will ask questions. Most students don't want to turn on their microphone because they might be in an environment where they can't speak in a microphone, or they can't, uh, you know, they're at the library or something, and they're not allowed to talk. So they'll just type in their questions here, and you'll see questions come up uh, as, as your lecture goes on. So, uh, the other thing you have to do is click on the share audio or the students won't be able to hear you. And you can click on share video or else the students won't be able to see you. So you can click on share video. And now at this point, the students will all see you and they'll all hear you. And you can just ask questions and say, is everyone, is everyone there? And then they will click on an emoji to say, yes, they're there. Sometimes they click on the thumbs up or sometimes they say hi or something like that. Now, you probably want to uh, share your PowerPoint or something, right? You've got a PowerPoint happening over here. Um, so what you want to do in your Blackboard Collaborate, which is one of these web links, is click on Share Content. 
So you can share your entire screen or an application. And click on Share Application Screen. Um, entire screen is pretty easy. Or you can choose one of your applications. Now I have a phonographfigs.pptx <coughs> application open. So I can share that. And then I can start it. And uh, this is what the students will see. And they'll even be able to see your, uh, uh, your laser pointer or if you want to use uh, ink and write on your PowerPoint or whatever, they'll be able to see that. And they, if you have your microphone turned on, they will be able to hear you as you're, as you're going through your lecture. Uh, when you're done with your PowerPoint, you can click on Stop Sharing, and that'll bring them back. Their main screen will be to see, uh, see your pretty face again. If you're not using PowerPoint or anything, you just want uh, to write on a whiteboard, there's something called Share Blank Whiteboard. And at this point, uh, this is what the students will see. You can open up a pencil, you can use your mouse or a tablet or something to draw on here. Um, some other cool things, if you're in Share Content, there's something called polling. So you could uh, give a, a multiple choice question, a yes, no question. Um, did you understand that? Uh, you can click on start and that will launch a little uh, poll and students can click yes or no. When you're all done, uh, it's not so obvious, but you click on the three lines in the upper left and you click on leave session. There's a little door and it always gives you this dumb survey at the end. How was the audio during your session? You can skip the survey. Your students will have to see that as well. So that's the quick and dirty way of how to do an online lecture. And once again, uh, your students will see a BB Collaborate link and they'll just click on the lecture and uh, then they'll be seeing you. So good luck.